In problem number 31 of section 1.2, uh, we compute uh, the integral of z cubed cosine z dz. And the way we're going to do this is using a formula that uh, we already, uh, that we uh, calculated in problems uh, 26 and 27, I believe, um, that tell us how to compute the integral of z to the n cosine z and z to the n sine of z. Uh, so know that z to the n uh, cosine z as equal to uh, z to the n, in this case z cubed, uh, sine of z minus n, or minus 3, times the integral of z to the n minus 1, which is z squared, uh, sine of z dz. And so now we've got to go one more step to evaluate this integral. So this is equal to uh, z cubed sine of z uh, minus 3. And now uh, z the integral of z squared sine of z will be minus z squared cosine of z uh, plus the integral, or plus n, which now n is equal to 2. So plus 2 times the integral of sine of, or excuse me, integral of z, so lower the power by 1, uh, cosine of z. Um, right. And finally, to uh, evaluate the last part, Uh, remember that the formulas in problems 26 and 27 hold for all uh, n greater than or equal to 1. So since this is really um, z to the first power, uh, we can still apply the formula again one more time. And that will give us uh, z sine of z minus uh, now n, which is just 1, so minus the integral of sine of z or minus the integral of z to the 0 power, which is just 1, uh, times sine of z. And we'll add a constant. And now this term here, uh, sine of z is just, integral of sine of z is just minus cosine of z. And now we can collect like terms and simplify. So uh, here we have z cubed times sine of z. And if we go a little bit further along, we have minus uh, 6z times sine of z. So z cubed minus 6z sine of z. And now if we collect all the cosine terms, uh, here we have plus 3z squared. And here we have minus 3 times 2, so minus 6 times minus cosine is uh, plus uh, just plus 6 cosine z. And of course, plus a constant. 